Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Dev Chanel's World. Let's get right on into it. We got a problem with Peter Thomas here. Got a problem with Peter Thomas. That's right. Peter Thomas from the Real High Fives of Atlanta was married to Cynthia Bailey at the one time. But I'm telling Peter, Peter Pumpkin Eater had a wife and couldn't keep her. Oh, I can't understand. I can't understand it, man. I can see why Cynthia left Peter. It's because of his expensive spending habits. At first, I thought it was Cynthia trying to play the role of this, that, and the third. But now I see it's always been Peter. Peter Pumpkin Eater had a wife and couldn't keep her. Peter, what is going on with you? I wake up today and I am thrown into... A story or article being written on you talking about you ain't got no money, you were arrested in Miami. Let's get on into page six. That's right, page six.com. Uh, Christine Barani wrote something on him today, today at 9 59 a.m. in the morning, still asleep. And I woke up with this news on my phone. The title of it is Real Housewives of Atlanta star Peter Thomas arrested in Miami. Okay. Written by Christine Barani. All right. Says former Real Housewives of Atlanta fixture Peter Thomas has been arrested at Miami International Airport. The reality star 58, who was previously married to Bravo star Cynthia Bailey for seven years, was taken into custody on a warrant from Louisiana for writing fraudulent checks, according to TMZ. Let's go back. Fraudulent checks, meaning they're bouncing, bouncing better than a basketball. Okay? Bouncing better than a basketball. Lord have mercy. What are we going to do with Peter? Peter Pocket Eater had a wife and couldn't keep him. Whew, Lord have mercy. But anyway, the article goes on to say he is being held without bond. Thomas last made headlines when he began filming a reality series centered on managing his Charlotte, North Carolina hotspot Club One in 2017. This weekend, he was reportedly heading to Miami for a different nightclub opening, according to the local news outlet WPLG. Bravo cameras captured Thomas and Bailey's wedding, as well as marital struggles that un ultimately led to their on-camera split. Reps for both the Miami-Dade Police Department and Bailey did not immediately respond to our request for a comment. Of course, Cynthia don't want to comment. She got her new boo, her new boo running around now, trying to... I guess capture him into marriage, but really, Cynthia, you just need to just go on raise a Noel Robinson, honey. Raise Noel, all right. You've been doing a wonderful, beautiful job along with her uh, daddy Leon, and, and you know, I, I think you just need to stay single for a while, or you know, I I don't really know because I you and Leon make a a, a fantastic looking couple. Uh, but I don't know if he, per se, like women. It kind of looked like he's on the sugary side. But, you know, that's just my take. I don't know, you know. But, uh, yeah, Cynthia. And maybe you need to talk to uh, Peter Thomas. I ain't saying letting him no money. Because we do know that's probably how y'all got in the mess that y'all got into. But Peter just like looking good and knowing the man is a good looking dark skinned man yes he is i can see why you were so taken aback with him and wanted to marry him and have a, a beautiful life but lord knows you know um well cynthia should have known she did any kind of investigation um instead of following her hard or whatnot but you know it just is what it is when it came to that uh, sad story and that debacle of a marriage. Uh, Peter had several wives, okay? Like, you could have talked to at least one or two of them. I think the man been married about four times, okay? And then you would have known that he's a good person to have as a friend, a confidant, or whatever. But don't marry him. He would only drain your bank account dry, okay? Leaving you with nothing, okay? But a bag of dust, all right? Can't even keep, can't even quit your day job if you wanted to, because he likes to be kept. He's a kept man. 
Oh, uh, but that's all I got. So I'm like, Peter, Peter, Parker, Eater, how do I can get Man, you need to get a nine to five job. I don't know. Maybe you just can model because you know you're a handsome man. Maybe you can do some modeling, but business transactions and running businesses is just not your forte. You need to just go on and, and, and sign a contract with some modeling agency and, you know, get your acting on or whatnot. But stay away from, you know, I know you want to be seen with the uh, women. I know you want it uh, to have a life on Real Housewives of Atlanta with a spinoff maybe where we were covering Real Housewives men or husbands of Atlanta, but it didn't go through. And maybe because you were too greedy and, and, and stuff of that nature. And Annie just wasn't going to like uh, nod and give the go ahead to have that type of uh, sitcom on here. You probably worried them too much is what you probably did. So it fell through. But however it is, you know, damn, Peter, get yourself together. Okay, I want to hear good things about Peter Tom. Because Lord knows you did come off kind of womanish, womanish, womanish. Yeah, there you go, womanish. When you were battling Nene around season two or three, I don't know when it was, because she called you, you know, that little name, and everything just went left. And then you just became America's favorite uh, sweetheart of the men. You know, then we had Apollo. I'm waiting for Apollo to scratch something when he come back, get out of jail or whatnot. Come on, you know, give us a little of his nice-looking, handsome self and get Todd back in the picture. Y'all just be, you know, running these streets of Atlanta doing the thing, you know? But, oh, and get Greg, too. Greg is a seasoned, seasoned uh, married man, but he knows how to be dapper as well. I just love you and him together. Then you had uh, the younger G's, like Apollo and uh, Todd. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe they can make that happen one day. I don't know. Maybe you need to Greg to pitch the idea because uh, you were just a little bit too greedy, I believe, uh, Peter, and wanted the spotlight too much. And they was like, nah, well, uh-uh. But since Real Housewives of Atlanta, he is kind of struggling. I would love to see the men uh, back in ball, but, you know, it's neither here nor there at this point in time. But I, I, we, prayers need to go up for Peter. Peter always in the red. He ain't never staying in the black long enough to do nothing with. And we know he has expensive tastes and, and, and likes and desires. But I'm like, come on, Peter. Peter, Peter, do better. You know better, so do better, okay? Because you're not going to find a woman out there that want to take care of you. Then She's just not out there, okay? Maybe you need to hook up with Candy and this sex dungeon thing she got going on. Maybe you can get the, some black chocolate brothers out there to do a little Chippendales type thing. And y'all come together and make money that way. I, don't, I, I really don't know, Peter. I really don't know because you're too old in the game to not have some sufficient money uh, stashed away and, 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 or, or, or invested away. Where you have to still be in news, you know, kind of writing false checks and, you know, your bar one and club one all going under and this, that, and the third. You know, I'm like, come on now, Peter. I need you to do better because I like you. I like you. Okay, but that was my take, my spill on Peter Thomas getting arrested on uh, allegedly writing fraudulent checks. Y'all check back with me. The story is probably still going on. We don't know the half of it. And I like giving updates when you're talking about people that I do like. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to give some uplifting news instead of bad news all the time. But all right, y'all check me out for another video here or there whenever I give it to you. Okay, be blessed. Have a, a positive attitude. And I'll check your next video. Thank you.